Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining in. Right off the bat, if you guys would be so kind as to please hit the like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And while you're doing that, I'm fighting the everlasting battle I wage against my really cheap, really old laptop, which actually seems to be cooperating for once. Alright. Knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't crash like it's been doing. How's everyone doing? As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing part two, attempting to recreate Ken Schrader's 1995 Talladega flip. As you saw what it looked like by the thumbnail there. And we gotta switch the name from yesterday's stream. We are no longer Miguel Paluto, or Ken Schrader. Oh, Kenny Ken, Ken Schrader. Watching this during study hall. <laughs> yeah, I figured these daytime streams aren't going to be as popular as they've been the last few months since a lot of my viewers, I'm assuming, are back at school around this time. But no matter, even if you can't catch this live, you can still watch it like a regular video. So... I forgot which race it was. I forgot it was the if it was the spring or the fall 95 Talladega race, but Ken Schrader gets turned by Jeff Gordon, who was running in about fourth or fifth place at the time. Coming out of turn two, they get together. Schrader goes backwards, gets airborne. I believe after getting help, getting pushed by another car when he was already backwards. And then he tumbles, as you saw in the waiting screen about five, six times. Mixture of side over side and end over end. School's canceled because of Irma. Ooh. Be safe. Get to high ground. Alright, so here is Jeff. So I'm going to try to squeeze in front of him, and is, you'll be able to see shortly. I have my usual blowover settings. I have the restrictor plates turned off. I have traction control on. That's making me slower. I have the track temperature way down. But as you can see, because of those settings, we can get up to speed. It basically almost too much up to speed coming out of turn two, but let's try a blow over right here. Alright, so that worked. I just need to be a little less sloppy on the start next time and hopefully get a few more tumbles. But not a bad first try. I believe the last time I tried this, uh, the part one, way back when, I didn't even know about the Cup 90 mod that has the Cup physics. I was just using the CTS physics, so hopefully we should be able to get a lot easier blowovers in this video than I did in the first one. I need to get in front of Jeff Gordon. Maybe get them a little more single filed out. Maybe I'll have to use a little less cars and increase their pacing distance in the track I and I file. And the drafting distance. By the way, for those of you watching this right now that haven't yet seen, I just today announced a 20,000 subscriber giveaway that I'm doing. Where I will be giving away a 164th die cast of both a random Chase Elliott sponsor and scheme, as well as a Lightning McQueen Rusty's scheme. So two cars each to three separate winners. And what you have to do, you have to go to my previous uploads, you have to find the video that I announced that. Make sure you're subscribed, like that video, and comment on that video. And then in two weeks I will be choosing three random winners using a random comment tool, or ra random comment selector tool. So make sure you do that within the next two weeks. My first ever giveaway that I'm doing. 
No. Damn you, Kyle Petty. That was not incredible. Ouch. Alright, so that does remind me, though. I can't just do a blowover and start flipping into the infield. I really need, if I want all the details to be right, I really need a small big one to be caused as well going down the backstretch amongst the AI cars. And as you can tell, I have both traction control on and the grip turned up a little bit, but that's because I have the temperature at negative 155. So I can... We can get up to speed really quick, I can get airborne really easily, even with roof flaps on, but the downside is, unless you turn the grip up a little bit to compensate, it's basically like driving on ice. Get back up in front of Gordon. Nope, didn't quite get a good jump. We can always switch the paint schemes around as long as I'm new, not too far back in the back of the field. Plus, I, I'm almost positive that Dale Earnhardt was leading at the time of this wreck, so I'm going to need to switch that too. All right, come on, come on. All right, so far so good. Darn it, start tumbling, you bastard. Nope. Just missed the grass by a little bit, otherwise it might have been good. Because he wasn't quite on the grass when he started tumbling, but he went towards the infield. He kept going towards the infield, but by the time he was done rolling, he didn't quite hit that inside wall. He gets close, but he never hits that inside wall, so that's another bonus detail I want to have on point, if possible. Is to go flipping towards the infield, but never actually hit that inside wall. If I didn't say that three times already. <laughs> At least we know I can get upside down simply just by getting spun coming off turn two from a blowover. That, I'm not worried about anymore because from what I remember of part one, that was a decent issue because I wasn't able to get fast enough with those CTS physics, no matter what settings I used, to do a blowover on command, so I kept having trouble just getting upside down to begin with. Packers, I still have to do the Packers podcast. I might do that the Sunday morning before the game to recap week one. So that'll probably be my last chance to do it. Alright, come on, Jeff, stay behind me. Nope. I'll try this dude. Well, I mean, a pileup ensued afterwards, but I never got tumbling into the infield. Whoops. You got one stopped up ahead. Oh, Bill Elliott went upside down and back on his wheels and hit hard again. Some cars go flying hard into the inside wall. Earnhardt and someone else. Damn, that was a big wreck. Let's go to Elliot. He gets turned by Bobby Labonte, goes up and over once. And Earnhardt gets sent hard into the inside wall.
right there. Lots going on in this wreck. Ouch. All right, next. All right, hold on one sec. I forgot. I want to do something. I want to plug my phone in and be able to monitor the comments on my phone. I've noticed my phone is a lot quicker than my laptop is. I'll do that after this attempt. Alright, sweet, I caught up. jump. I think I want the cars to be a little more single file, so if I have to exit out, I'm going to increase the pacing and the drafting distance. Or bunching, I should say. Pretty good. He flipped a little too much, though. And I think I did hit that inside wall, and there was no pileup going on the back stretch. But a step in the right direction, nonetheless. No, I think I went right over that top wall, but still, there was no pileup. All right, load up the stream on my phone. So I can monitor the comments that way. Here we go, make sure the volume's off. Pull up live chat. There we go. Perfect. Alright, sorry guys. It's all about trying to make the streams better. There we go. Now I can turn the brightness up now that the it's plugged in. Little kickstand right there. Perfect. Alright, we'll try that again. That was close. I want to count how much of a delay it is between a comment popping up right here and then showing up. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. About a 26, 27 second delay between when I see a comment initially come up right on the direct chat menu and then it shows up in the video itself. So the chat and the video has about a 27 second delayed, or combined delay I should say. Alright, getting a good jump. Eh, yeah, screw your black flag. Alright, who wants to spin me? Looks like Terry Labonte. He's gonna be the taker. Whoops. I didn't even get upside down. A pileup happened, but I didn't get upside down. I was just kind of floating around. And I hit the inside wall. That wasn't a good attempt. Now 
No one flipped over that time. Alright. That was a fail. Try again. Maybe I need to turn the grip down just a tad bit, too. If I got traction control on, I should be able to turn the grip down a little bit. That'll maybe give us slightly more realistic results. Even though we got arctic, tornado-like conditions going on. As you can see with the negative 154 degrees with 180 mile an hour winds. Your computer is really far. No, the chat comes up instantly. I'm talking about how much it takes. How much time it takes. For the video itself, my stream, the game, to process through to YouTube and to come out on your guys' end as the video takes about 26, 27 seconds. The chat pops up instantly. I wasn't concerned about the chat. I was just seeing how long it, the stream itself takes to come through. God damn it, my camera turned off momentarily, apparently. Aw, oh, damn it, I hit the inside wall. And there wasn't really a pileup. I really want to land upside down when I get the, the correct run. And thank you, Brendan. I'm very happy I got to 20,000. Never thought I'd get that many subscribers. Terry Labani spawned, but no one else. Oh, the face cam changed. Stupid white balance. Because it just re-turned off. Or turned off and turned back on. Usually have it around 7,200. Seems decent. Maybe a little too yellow, but... I'd rather be a little too yellow, because if I'm a little on the blue side, that just exaggerates how pale I am. So that's why I have a little... I like being a little bit on the orangish side. Orangish side. That's a tongue twister. Alright, maybe we'll get to around 1.30, or wherever 30, on the bottom of the hour. It just did it again, didn't it? It did. Hold on, I need to investigate why this is doing this. It must be partially plugged in. Or partially unplugged. And just did it again, yep. I think I see the cause of the problem, hold on. Sure, all the connections were plugged in securely. And no, it's not the battery. Shortly after I started these live streams, I kept learning that the hard way, so I got a AC adapter that goes right into the battery slot of my DSLR. So I haven't had any battery issues for a while, but every now and then the AC adapter is a little touchy. Green flag. Come on, Jeffy. Or Rusty, who's ever in the bottom line and in better position to spin me. God damn it. Keep it off the wall. Nope. Uh, 
Alright, you guys know what time it is. It's time to go backwards. We still have the... All the cars in one huge pack. My car is still running fine. And we've had nothing but failed attempts so far. <laughs> Wait for it, and I got Jeff mainly, but there's a big pile up. Big pile up. I'm gonna have to look at a replay of that one. So there goes Jeff. Where is he? Alright, let's follow Jeff Gordon's ride in slow motion through this wreck. Alright, so he's upside down. Hit by it looked like uh, Ernie Irvin. Still tumbling. Now, who is that tumbling over? The 97. I don't even know who that is. Alright, so at least we got most of the pack. Let's hopefully not get a failure of an attempt this time, so we don't have to go backwards in the first place. Yeah, at the bottom of the hour I'll tweak some settings around, try re redoing the qualifying order, increase the drafting distance, the bunching distance, the pacing distance decrease by a little bit the number of cars. Maybe turn the grip down just a tad. Got a bad start that time. Nope, that was too soon. Alright, that deserves another backwards run. <coughs> as if I couldn't... As if I thought that the last attempt couldn't get any more boring. That happened. Just wait. Here comes the leader. They were wrecking before they got to me. I saw a wreck starting before they even got to where I was. think right here Morgan Shepard and the 78 of Carter whoever that is yep there's almost a couple cars upside down that got on their side right there <laughs> and then my impact right there taking out basically everyone else all right, and try that again. <laughs> Looks like the radiator went flying into the stands. That's not good. 
Hope they brought their umbrellas. <laughs> All right, a couple more tries, and then, yeah, I gotta change some things around, I think. A little less cars, space them out more, turn the grip down just a tad. What else? Try to stay in front of Jeff for this one. Oh, he's not in good position. I'm using Rusty. Come on. Decent. Start flipping. Get into the grass. Get into the grass. Oh, you bastard. Ouch. My car actually was running decent until I hit that inside wall. Uh-oh, they wrecked, I think. Well, I'll finish off all the rest of the ones. That made it through. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Ooh, I got Sterling Marlin good. We're gonna have to take a look at what happened in turn four, as well as the replay of my flip, as well as the replay of that. <laughs> So let's take a look at this. That was decent. I just needed to get onto the grass, but didn't. Alright, so let's take a look at what happened in turn four. Oh yeah. They're three, four wide. Of course something's going to happen. Is it going to be Bobby Labonte? Yep, looks like it. Ooh, no, it wasn't. Ricky Rudd got taken out by who? By who else? Earnhardt took out Ricky Rudd. And triggers the big one. Rudd tumbling over and over in turn four. Damn. Look what Earnhardt started. Forty three hard into him to send him upside down. All right, one more try, and then. Obviously, I gotta change some settings around. I'm surprised more cars weren't involved in that with how many came piling in. The big one in turn four. attempt before we start changing some settings around, which I have a few that I can think of off the top of my head. Alright. 
Come on. I can feel it. This is going to be a good one. Come on, Gordon. Pop down behind me. Damn you. It's not in a good position. Kyle Petty is. Come on. Get into the grass. Oh, bastard. So we gotta do another backwards one. So close to getting in the grass. You all right? Looks like we're bent up on the back end. You've been disqualified for record. Wait for it. We got Marlin and Martin battling for the lead. I saw Jeff go flying. There are not too many cars that escaped, it looks like. <laughs> Wait for it. Boom! And Rudd again. And Jeff sends Terry Labonte over. Jeff continues to fly around in the air. Finally back on his wheels before he takes half the field with him. All right. Enough goofing around. Let's exit out of the game quickly. Go into our tracks folder. As you saw, I am using Talladega 93, so we got to edit that. Let's turn the grip down by a tenth. Let's turn the temperature maybe down just a little bit. Turn this up. Turn this up. Turn this up. Why is that at that? Alright, I think that looks good. I'll try those changes for now. Loading the game back up. Turn the difficulty down just a tad. Just a couple less cars. Everything else I think is good for now. Let's see where Gordon qualified at. And yes, I know it was cloudy in real life, but I can just switch that when the replay is recorded. I'm just concerned with the weather being unrealistic. For the aerodynamic settings, I can always switch the clouds later. Is Gordon in the inside line this time? Yes, but he's in first, damn it. I needed him to be in like fourth or fifth. I'll use Terry Labonte. I can always switch around a couple paint schemes if I want to be really picky with all the details. Come on, Schrader. We can do this. Fictional Schrader. Fictional 1995 Ken Schrader. <laughs> Alright, they're already 
already spaced out a little better. I like it. Not by much, but it's noticeable. Oops. Guess we're trying that next lap. Or are we? Nope. Whoops. That wasn't my fault. <laughs> what the hell happened to the 21? Ouch. That was almost like a Mike Wallace blowover on Talladega, or in Talladega in about the same spot. Or whoever that was in 2011. here. I always feel like I start petering off in my with my colorful commentary about halfway through these streams. I just get kind of silent. I apologize. Eh, who needs qualifying? You can just cut in line. Just ignore the black flags. It's not like they can, they have a remote switch to be able to shut your car off. You can just keep going. Come on, Terry. Ow. <laughs> now that was a hard hit. That was a little worse than what I needed. I think that was my fault too. Damn, into the inside wall roof first. Almost got that ambulance. Next. <laughs> that nerdy guy doing the announcement. need to get a good spin. The last two spins I kind of messed up. Have been my fault. Alright. And unfortunately I can't do another live stream today. Maybe... If I just do audio, I definitely can't do any face cam one, but uh, maybe I'll be able to do my Dirt to Daytona part three a little bit later. But I have a wedding gig tomorrow, so I need to start packing up my gear for that, which means no face cam. I might be able to afford keeping my microphone out until the last second. But probably not likely for a stream, but if I can, there's going to be no face cam. Terry. Damn it. Uh, 
<sighs> Did like a Randy LaJoy, more or less. I'm trying to think of s someone else where they drilled the wall and then kept flipping afterwards. That wasn't good. Ow. I need to get a more comfortable chair at some point. This one ain't bad, but not for to be in a racing position for an hour straight. What about the pace laps? time is it? Oh damn, it's 142 already. Gotta get me something to eat afterwards. I hunger. Looks like Terry is in position to spin me again. Just do it smoothly so it doesn't look too forced. That's what she said. Come on. <laughs> I don't think I could have been any more up in the air without being upside down than I was there. Keep it off the wall. There we go. Does that count as a save? Even though it probably would have broke half my suspension, the car slamming down. Look at that. Still never went upside down. But since my car still works... So we can do this. Yes, yeah, shush. I love the, love the damage for the Cup 90 mod. Got one stopped up high. <laughs> Once again, Gordon looks like he got the worst of it. God damn, my stupid camera shut off and turned back on again. Why does it keep doing that? I'll switch it to auto. Auto. White balance usually looks a little weird in this room, but it's better than the blue. Drivers, start your engines. Stop it, camera. Oh, now just it's off completely. <sighs> Jesus. Piece of crap technology. <laughs> Alright, I can still salvage this in. I can still salvage this attempt.
I really hope that isn't a sign that my camera is about to break and Sarah and I need to use that for a gig tomorrow. And just keep shutting off and turning right back on. I'm going to have to go without a face cam for the last 15 minutes of this stream. How dare you, Terry Labonte. I was riding on top of Terry's hood for a second there, or on top of his roof. His roof. Oh my god, stop it, camera. Get a freeze frame of that. Ooh, he hit that wall hard right there. Where it juts out. <laughs> he somehow saves it. God, you stupid fucking camera. As long as it keeps turning back on, I guess I don't care. It's just getting annoying, and it's starting to concern me. Hopefully it's just that AC adapter being weird and not the camera itself. Again, I don't know if you can hear it in the microphone in the background. I know you can hear the beep on the computer. The sound it makes where a new device is being plugged in. Alright, come on, Terry. It's nice and smooth. Not bad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, nope. I don't know. I hit that inside wall, but I kind of flipped the right way and I landed upside down. If that was real life, I probably would have sprayed debris and shrapnel into where that ambulance was right there. So I hit basically right where that was. That's not worth saving. That was too far off. He starts flipping a, like at least once or twice before he even hits the grass and starts going more towards the infield. Gotta love how easy you can do burnouts when you have the grip turned up. Or at least how easily you can do them without spinning out, I should say. That last one was decent, but I can't hit that inside wall. I need to come to a rest just before I get to that. Can't tell if my face cam is frozen or not. <clears throat> Oops. Alright, come on, Terry. Nope. God damn it. Time 
going to go backwards again. You all right? No, I'm not. I haven't gotten a reenactment yet. I'm not fine. Looks like you got some kind of engine problem there. Wait for it. Wait for it. And Man, Ricky Rudd, not having good luck this stream, is he? How many times separate times has he been upside down? Started my f stupid camera. Is it still frozen? Nope, it actually unfroze itself for once. Starting to really annoy me. Really hope that isn't a sign of the future with that camera. Someone spin me. The other Labonte brother, Bobby. Please spin me at the correct angle. Nope. I mean, the flips were pretty decent. I just hit the wall first. I should have flipped from the inside of the track going outwards, or inwards I should say. Instead I hit the wall first. Those type of flips are what I need. I just had the wrong angle that time. Stupid camera. Alright, as you can see, we're approaching the top of the hour, so this will probably be the third to last attempt. And I gotta start cleaning my cameras, getting them all ready, empty the SD cards, do my timestamp, make sure this one isn't fucking broken. All right, no more face cam for the last three attempts. Unfortunately, since it's being stupid. for part three, if it has to come to that, I'll get a good qualifying order going on and have Gordon be like in fourth or fifth, have Earnhardt be in first, so I don't have to worry about switching anyone else around afterwards. No! Into the catch fence. 
Luckily, there was no grandstands back there. Damn it. It was almost like Chase Elliott this year, kind of. So Chase didn't quite hit the catch fence that much. Next. By the way, for those of you that are watching and haven't seen yet, make sure to go check out. I am doing a 20,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away two die casts, each to three separate people. Uh, random Chase Elliott paint scheme and sponsor 164th die cast, as well as a Lightning McQueen Rusties 164th. So three separate people will be getting two diecasts each. Make sure to go find that video. It's my most recent post other than this stream. Make sure to like that video, comment that you... just comment whatever, and then also make sure you're subscribed. And at two weeks from now, noon on Friday, I believe the 29th, I will be choosing a winner. Actually, the three winners using a random YouTube comment selector program app software whatever so it'll be completely fair and unbiased so make sure you go enter into that if you haven't yet it's completely free I'll be covering all the shipping costs just, you just have to do those three things subscribe like that video and this video if you don't mind and then comment that you subscribed and you will be entered. Come on, Bobby. No! No! Now that was cool. It's not what I needed, but that was cool. That is the definition of a car getting punted by another one. Is... Ernie Everton still... Tumbling? No, he's sliding on his roof, I think. No, that wasn't Ernie Irvin. That was the 88. Wait, who's who? That is Ernie Irvin. Who's the 28? Dale Jarrett? Huh. I don't remember Dale Jarrett being in the 28 Halveling car at that point. Man, I just got launched by Ernie Irvin. I went back perfectly onto my wheels. Alright, last attempt. And yes, I will be doing a backwards one. Should I do it at Talladega 70s, 80s? I believe that's kind of becoming tradition. Same person wins three times. No, if there's any repeat selections, I don't know how these... The comment selector program tools work, whatever, but... If that is a thing where it will pick a repeat person, I'll keep doing it until there's... Three no repeats. So no, the same person can't win more than once. There'll be three separate people winning. I also launched a Patreon page, by the way, at the same time. Kind of forgot to mention that. I don't want to break too much about it. I feel like it's panhandling almost, but... If you guys want some goodies, some guaranteed Cody H Gaming rewards in return, you can go check out my Patreon page. I have anything from you can get a special shout-out and thanks on the description of all my videos for at least a month. Next step up is uh, you can get a shout-out, a special verbal shout-out that I'll say to you on all my future videos for at least a month. The next step up is access to... Uh, damn it. I wasn't even paying attention. I need to do it next lap. Is access to Patreon-only content. 
Next step up is a hour long live stream of any idea of your choice. At least an hour long. And then the next step up is a Cody H Gaming sticker and a handwritten thank you. And each step up includes all the previous rewards. It's just my instinct to try to reckon the trioval. I don't know why. That's not counting as the last one. Holy crap, I saw a few cars hit hard into that inside wall right there. Alright, enough. Enough plug in my Patreon account. I didn't want to spend too much time doing that. Just figured I'd mention it. I don't think I even have the link down in the description in this video. Oh, the 27 car is the one that went hard into that wall. Damn. Tom Sawyer's brother. Alright, one last attempt. Yes, I know that was a terrible attempt. Kind of lost focus halfway through while I was talking about my Patreon being launched. I have been working on that for probably five months. I didn't want to launch it too early. Didn't want to seem too eager. I wanted to make sure it was well put together, well worded. I had good rewards that would be like worthy of you guys donating if you so choose to. If not, if you just want to keep up the support, watching my videos, I am equally grateful for that as well. Uh, excuse me. Alright, actually focus for this attempt. Try to get Terry or Bobby to spin you coming out of turn two. And then we can start the hardcore crashing. Come on, Bobby. No! How many times have I hit that inside wall right there? All right, gonna do once backwards here, and then I'll do another session going into Talladega seventies, eighties. Right? No, I'm not. We're gonna have to do a part three. How can I be all right? <laughs> You've been disqualified for reckless driving. You have no idea how reckless it's about to get. Man, that was a bullseye. Man, who's that in the 37? He's losing his lunch right about now. Who was that in the 37? Damn, well, that's, that explains John Andretti. That explains how we got sideways. And over and over he goes. Alright, so one last session. Talladega 70s, 80s, with max amount of opponents. Let's do this. Oh, we got cloudy, ominous. So we're gonna do once forward. Try to see how big of the AI or a big of a wreck the AI cars can cause. See if we can get through it. And we're going to do one going backwards. Then I uh, got to get going.
This is my wreck avoidance practice track. It's going to be a little cheating since I think I still have traction control on, but actually might help because we're going to get up to around 250, 260 in a lap or so. And without it, I'm going to spin out in basically every single turn. Look at them all spread out instantly. Oh, there goes one car. There goes another. Here's a small wreck. Another small wreck. Able to make it through, though. Let's see if there's a bigger wreck that starts at the front of the pack. That's way up there now by this point. Look at that. 240 miles an hour and I'm falling behind. <laughs> Oops. Gotta turn a little bit more when you're going faster. What a concept. How about a 250 mile an hour blowover? That was boring. Wait for it. Holy crap. There's the pileup. Kind of. It wasn't quantity, but it was quality that time. Yeah, this dude, that dick trickle gets drilled. That was a dirty sentence. <laughs> Alright, one time going backwards now. As you can see, it might, they might not even make it a full lap, so I'm just going to get them coming right out of turn two in the backstretch on the first lap. Because they'll definitely be well up to 200, 220 miles an hour by that point, if not more. So speed won't be an issue. We're just trying to get as many cars as possible while they're still grouped together before they all wreck each other. Itchy eye. Try to get him full speed. This is going to be it. So I got Earnhardt first. How many others did I get? Hopefully mostly all of them. You all right? I know I got Earnhardt first. <laughs> Obviously. Holy crap. If you consider Mark Martin making it through that, he's basically like the only one that did. One of the only ones. One of the few. And Ricky Rudd once again flipping. <laughs> Man, that one put the 2002 Aaron's 312 big one to shame. Once again, let's get a look at Ricky Rudd's ride through this. Of course, Rudd has to flip. Alrighty, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much again for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if I remember to post it afterwards, please go. be sure to check out my newly posted Patreon account. Make sure you enter into my giveaway by checking out my most recently posted video. And that's about it. Uh, oh yeah, let me know your comments for, or uh, comments. Let me know your suggestions for future videos down in the comments below. And I think now that's about it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I will see you then. Have a good rest of your day. Peace. Bye, everyone.